Hey guys, I'm Daniel, and today we're going to do one of my lesser favorite things on the car, changing brake fluid. Now, be honest, when did you change your brake fluid last? Um, brake fluid really lasts about two years, and you should be changing your brake fluid on, on a two to three year cycle. Now, if you're uh, using your car for heavier duty applications like racing, you might consider changing it after every race or every second race. So, because I hate doing brake fluid so much, I got something that will help me today. Check this out. This is going to do that brake job so much easier. What this does is you're putting brake fluid right in here and you're pressurizing the system. And instead of having a second person that pumps the brakes, this will flush it out for you. All you have to do is open the valve, let the fluid come out, close it down. So we're gonna do a complete system flush with this. Let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is check up the car in all fours. If you don't know how to do it, here's the link to it. Let's do it. All right now, you have to know which brake fluid is in your car. If you have .3, .4, .5, 5.1, uh, it is very important. Some brake fluids don't intermix with each other. My car came with .3 and I will be putting in the Super .4. It has a higher boiling point in wet as well as dry. All right, so you're saying what's a boiling point and why is it important? Well, it is important because when your brake fluid is brand new, Whatever it says on the label, your dry boiling point is the maximum performance of your brake fluid. The wet boiling point is when the brake fluid is already used up or contaminated, uh, usually with water because brake fluid absorbs water uh, out of the air. Now, your system is sealed, you say, but there's valves, there's uh, seals uh, where moisture can come in and over the years it will contaminate. On a brand new car, it lasts longer. On an older car, you might have to change it a little bit more often. Now, what you don't want to do is your brake fluid to boil. What happens when stuff boils, creates bubbles. When you get bubbles in your system and you step on the brake and it pushes all that brake fluid into the cylinder, the fluid itself does not compress, but the bubbles, they will compress. And this is why your um, brake pedal may feel a little bit spongy. I will put a link in the description to a website where they have quite a few manufacturers and their brake fluids with the wet and dry boiling points. This way you can pick the right brake fluid for your application. Let's continue the project. All right, the very first thing that we're gonna do now before we attach the adapter is suck out as much fluid as we can out of the reservoir. Let's get to it. Okay, now that the system is primed, we are ready to attach a little hose. Uh, best thing is to use a clear hose. You can use any kind of hose that, that fits on it, but a clear hose, you can actually see the color as it changes when it comes through. So we're gonna attach it, open up the valve, and just let it bleed out. There's a suggested way in how to bleed the system. You start with the line that is the furthest away from your master brake cylinder. So mine is in the front left, so driver's side left. So I'm gonna bleed the rear right first, then the rear left, then the front right, and then the front left is the last thing. Once we're done, all we have to do is just make sure the reservoir is topped off and that's it, we're done. This literally took me less than 10 minutes. All right, here we go, we're done. All we have to do is just clean out the container. You can use some uh, isopropyl alcohol to just clean it out so you can put it in storage. 
Uh, the reservoir is topped off. I'm just gonna throw the wheels back on, pop the car down, and uh, we're done. Now, I did notice a lot of bubbles out of every caliper. A lot of bubbles came out. So I'm willing to bet that my brake issue that I had, uh, I had very spongy brakes, will be solved. But pending a test drive, let's see what happens. All right, well, here's our first test drive. I already noticed a huge improvement. My brake pedal is not really spongy anymore. It's a lot more responsive, uh, and I really love the way the brakes feel. I used to hate my brakes on this car because they always felt spongy. I went to the dealer four, maybe five times and complained about the brakes. And every time they told me something different, oh, I need to cut the rotors, oh, I need uh, pads replaced, oh, I need to do this. And then there was an issue because I started noticing it after 10,000 miles. Uh, they said it wouldn't be covered under the bumper to bumper warranty. I went to another dealer, they said, oh, I crossed 12,000 miles it won't be covered under the bumper to bumper warranty. So I had to do the brakes on uh, one of my other cars as well. So I did it and I thought, you know what, it's time. This car is three plus years old. Uh, let's get the brake fluid changed, uh, it's time. And uh, what, what a great result. I absolutely love the way the brakes feel right now. As of right now, uh, the pads and rotors are still in excellent shape. All I needed was just some new brake fluid, who knew? All right, now that we're safely back in the garage, uh, let's see if there's a way to test the fluid. What I got is one of these pens. Now, these pens are brake fluid testers. What it does, it will test the moisture content of your brake fluid. So your brake fluid is not necessarily bad because it's dark in color. Well, probably it is, but not necessarily. This will test the moisture. So it says at zero and 1%, the brake fluid is still good three and four percent uh, humidity or moisture, the brake fluid is bad. So let's see what we got out of my car. So there you go. Um, three percent contamination on a car that was built three years ago that I've owned for almost three years and it is the factory fluid. So the color wasn't too bad. If I would have gone by color, I would have said, let's leave it for another two or three years. But this thing right here, it will tell you if it's uh, bad or not. Now, you might get a little bit more or a little bit less mileage out of your brake fluids, but this thing cost me 10 bucks. I'll put the link in the description and it's well worth it. Once a year when you do your service, just pop it in there and you'll see as long as you're at one or 2%, you're still good, but once you get into the three or four plus percent range, that fluid is definitely done. So let's check the Mercedes. We did the Super Dot 4 fluid change two years ago when we got the car. Let's see how good this one is. All right, so the Mercedes tested at 2% uh, moisture, so I'm still okay, but I should probably over the next couple of months just uh, take advantage and flush the whole system out as well. Um, there you go, everything that I use today you will find in the description as usual, and happy brake fluid flushing. Take care, guys.